you have another toilet? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't poop that much. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your friend Jason here. Welcome to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. And today I am joined with Tickle42000, Danny Jam15, and OP Hammerden. What's going on, guys? Hey. Wait. Oh. What's up? Ah, oh, there's Danny. Okay. So, if you guys haven't saw it, there has been a user, Cold Blooded 101, I believe his name is, and he has posted a video of how to. No, he's posted a video about a bridge to get to Palmwood. And I noticed a lot of people were asking, how did you make that? How did you do it? And I'll show you guys right here. As you can see, I'm talking about the people watching at home, not the people that I'm in the game with right now because they can't see what I'm doing. You see right here that he's walking over to Palmwood, and this is not required. It doesn't require. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. It doesn't require any third party programs at all. And no, it's not hacks. It's just little glitches in the game. And. I knew how to do this months back, and I've been trying to recreate it, and I've had some problems with it, but OP Hammerden right here has showed me the efficient way to do it. So we're going to show you guys today how to build this bridge to Palmwood. So let's get into it. Alright, man. So we can't have it on the edge? No. Why though? I don't get it. Straight line's 180 degrees. The door's like 179 to 178 degrees. So eventually you'll be building your blacklist on. Oh, there's a blacklist in height? Yeah. <gasps> well, no, not in height. It's not in height. It's the, uh, you start building the outside of your base because it's at a slant. The blacklist zone's at a slant? No, no, no. The uh, doors are here. They look like they're uh, straight. But they're actually at like 179, 178 degrees instead of 180. I don't know how to explain it. Well, I understand, but together, they would, does that mean you would have to build it extremely high to get it to slant so much as you would notice it? Yeah. So it would be like about half that bridge line. So if you were to build it, it's never done this. If you were to go from this edge and build that to the bridge, I can send you a screenshot of it, but you can only go halfway out before you hit your blacklist on. Okay, so if we prop them up against this right here, would this be close enough into the base to build it? Um, or does it have to be like directly in the middle, like you have to count? This might be, this might be enough. I don't know, because 1,200 doors to get to Palm Island. 200 doors to get to Palm Island? 1,200. 1,200? Wow. Remember that, guys. This is just a video showing you how to start the bridge. We're not going to build the whole entire bridge. That's not happening. I'm not buying 1,200 of these doors. But if you feel like it, go for it. <laughs> so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to glitch these doors the into each other. It's about 300 what? Get across the river. It's 300 to get across the river? Yeah. Then why you do you remember? You're not just trying to go. Oh, that the river. You've got to go across the land too. Yeah. Huh. So if you want to build a bridge like I'm doing now, where it's about six doors wide, so you can roll trees across. It's gonna be about 300 doors. Okay. So see, I was, we had this door placed right here like this. So now we're gonna glitch another door into it. And it's possible to do with uh, wood doors if you want to drive yourself completely mad and mess up a lot. Mm. I want to suggest doing that, to be honest. It's terrible. I like using a reference when I do it. What? Wait. Why is it? What? Hold on, see? Let me show you. So you put... 
Oh, this is in the way. This wall. We probably got the exact same door. Yep. Man. The wall's in the way. Yeah. So, you want to do a reference? So you want to take like a tile? It'll sit flush. And then you take it. Okay. Open the store. Move it down one unit. Move this down one unit. Then open this. No closing in. And uh, since it's only two doors, you only need to move one door and then cancel. But you might want to show them that. Boom. So you guys just saw him do it, so I'm going to show you how to do it from this point of view. So you have this door, right? Come on, oh my god, just spin around. Spin around. There we go. <laughs> this door right here. And put another door on top of it. I don't know if it's right on top or not. It is, yes. Now we're gonna take this blueprint. And we're going to line it up. Just like that. See where the, the little crack starts and the little crack right there. So now we're gonna open this door. Move this door. Down one. Just like that. to close this bottom door. I messed up. I make it still work like that. <laughs> make, it still work. make it still work. Hold on. I gotta make it perfect though. <laughs> how, how am I so off? Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely out of there we go. Now we close the doors and see they are touching each other right here. So now we click on the bottom one, click on move, and cancel it. And that will glitch them, causing them both to open at the same time. <laughs> so I got a question. So I can't just lay the doors down like this and just put them down next to each other until I get to all the way to the edge of land? No. That's a it all be... Okay, I'll be stuck in this position. <laughs> He's invisible. I'm invisible? <laughs> and there it is, guys. This right here is the bridge. Which, I mean, of course, is not long enough, but this is how you're going to build it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to spawn your base. Oh, my God. Way over there in the distance. <laughs> I don't even want to walk over there. It's way over there in the distance. By the ferry. And whenever you get it tall enough, you're just gonna walk right over to it and you're gonna open it up and it will. Wow, wow. hold on, I'm doing ninja flips. Okay. And if it's long <laughs> enough, it will glitch through the mountains and go all the way across the ocean over to the palm wood. So you'll be able to bring palm wood back to yourself. And how many does it take, Hammerton? About 1,200. 1,200 of these. So don't go out and buy 50 of them and be like, okay, I think this is long enough. It might might almost make it, but I don't think so. You want to even get past the grass? I want to get past the grass? <laughs> I mean, this is very time consuming. So if palm wood's worth that much to you guys, go ahead and do it. It's not for me. I'm just showing you guys how to make the bridge. If you guys want to see this thing in action, here's videos of it right now. But if you guys hey. could... Please like, comment, subscribe, share, tell your friends. I'd like to thank today's a special guest. We got Danny Jam 15, Tickle 42000, and OP Hammerton. And I will leave the links to their YouTube channels into the description. And Tickle has a brand new YouTube page. If you guys want to check it out, check it down to the description. Alright.
Well, I appreciate all you guys for starring in this video. And Hamberton, uh, thanks for telling me a better way to really do this because it was really frustrating me. Oh, yeah. Looks good. No problem. All right. Well, everybody, take care. What the heck? I can't drive. Yeah.